I can't even pronounce this name, so I'm just going to ask the question. Mm -hmm. How many rounds of revisions are usual with most of your clients? How do you deal with wishes that will make the mix worst, the worst in your opinion? It depends how far you've, how close you are to the end. It's, it's, a, it's a good question actually, because as a mixer, you take pride in what you do. And when someone says, no, no, don't do, don't do that. And you're like, why are you making me do this? Because it doesn't sound as good. It's actually not even sounding worse or better. It's like literally just like changing it. And sometimes it can actually, in my opinion, make it worse. But to be fair, that's quite rare. So it's like, it's, yeah, it's a good question. Um, I don't like doing some things for some people because I really liked what I did. But what I try and do is I like to imagine like, really from their point of view and also like to view the finish line where we're going to finish the song and everyone's going to be happy. And at the end of the day, I put the client you know, first. It's not about my ego and what I think is good and stuff. If they wanted it a certain way, I'm not going to fight against it. Um, I'm, I may have done as like a younger mixer. Be like, no, 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 you got to do this. But like, that's not what it's about. Um, you have to... We're making music here and, and these you're you're mixing other people's music, so there you go.